Welcome everybody to the podcast. Ear gravy. Ear gravy, I guess ear we're going gravy. there. As disgusting as that. At sounds. least today it's ear gravy. Yeah, today it's ear gravy. Next week it'll be like, I don't know, like hemorrhoids or something. I don't know. Hemorrhoid gravy. <laughs> <laughs> With an S, hemorrhoids. Like gravy. one of the ones that's like sticking out of your asshole, like you can fucking see. Oh. Oi. <laughs> are we brown or are we white gravy? Uh, brown. We only have one brown person. Mix. Like one mix. mix. No, yeah, mix. We have, we have like, 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 a tint of brown in it, you know, like a Tent good sauce. A one, a one to four ratio of. Or brown. that gravy when you run out of turkey gravy and all you have <laughs> left is country gravy. Oh no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is me, your host. Oh, Steve you're Zero. the host? Uh, yes. You're My the host. My wonderful co host here. We are starting off with. We're on a with... game show. We're going to have to figure out a name for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's figure right. it out. Podcast number one Her name. Her, her name is... I didn't want to say her name. <laughs> uh, you, you can say it. I didn't... No, the people know who she is. I'll just edit her voice over so it sounds real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's over and, her name, and her name, uh, like whenever we come up with, yeah. Just edit it over, it's like we're gonna have to figure out, yeah, like name. Like those pre-recorded uh-huh. things and they just stick in your name. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. Hello. <laughs> Whatever. It's just like, what? Hello, robotic voice. Hello, yeah. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan? No, yeah, it would go like Jonathan? that. It would be like, oh, thank you. All right, Jonathan here. <laughs> <laughs> and then over on that side, introduce yourself, babe. Oh, I thought you guys were picking my name. Oh, well, Sexy Kitty. Say your yeah. fucking name. We got Sexy Kitty over there. I'll be Macarena. How about Macarena? Macarena. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Should I call it a name? Well, we're thinking it out. I'm, I'm just like thinking about Austitz. 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 I that, like it. That sounds suspiciously like Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, okay. Demonetized, here we come. No money. <laughs> no money. <laughs> no money at all. Censored. <laughs> Well, and and I am a uh, baby bird. No, we, we have to post this video with the colons offensive, so that nah, it, so it's okay. That. Content, let's, let's get all, <laughs> content offensive. Let's see if we can manage to put this on the kids' side of YouTube. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, with, with pregnant sex. Spider-Man, all those all right, toy God. shows. So, are we already going to start off with this that side of YouTube? I think yes, we are. I think, think we are. All right, so you it's guys like have... we meant to get in the middle, but we just went way off course. I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Burke over here, he's like, I already know what I'm talking about Black Panther. We didn't this even introduce is... him yet. He's no, just he, Baby I, Burke just, I introduced myself. He, he got him. Oh, okay. I got it. We're, we're all good. Yeah. But so you guys have heard about what happened with the kid side of YouTube, right? No. No. So he got raped. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. <laughs> yeah. I'm I love that. Just ah. <laughs> good. So, <laughs> what's been happening is like um, just a lot of very inappropriate content, like you know, like uh, pretty much almost like forced rapes. Like, like these are scenes acted out, meant for children. Um, I don't know all the details. My note involved. It was worse than like rape. role, like role cartoons playing. or oh, start yeah, off yeah. early. Needles, um, pregnancies, <laughs> like like botched pregnancies. There was one on abortions, and it's like oh, the thing fuck. is, is when you look at the tagline, it shows it's called Elsa Gate because it's these girls dress up as Elsa and Spider Man, like and dudes dress up as Spider Man. It's a match made in heaven. Stuff. Yeah, they're just doing <laughs> weird stuff to each other, and that's all. Ooh. That's like the huge thing going on, and like so now YouTube. Which is going to make it hard for fucking us. Um, you know, they're putting stricter guidelines. And so instead of just putting stricter guidelines on the kids' side, because that's what makes the most, I, I think, the most money on YouTube, because, you know, you have kids watching all yeah, the time. It yeah, something like isn't that. Isn't it like 38 million views? Oh, yeah, like per video. Like easily, like you're in the millions because you have a bunch of parents handing their kids, you know, their tablet, yeah. and not checking what they're watching. Exactly. And so they're just getting. Butt ton, getting a lot of money, and so Elsa butt ton. Elsa butt ton. 
Get... Of course, they're gonna be like, "Ooh, what's this?" Oh, Vine of Spider-Man getting slapped on the ass, like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a Spider-Man one. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. But um, yeah, there's there's you know this huge thing, and so they cracked down on a lot of the rules and made Do it a lot have stricter. To slurp? <laughs> I want to a special effect in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, Don't worry. You're I'll like, what's that? It'd just be like, Bring. no. I think I think they should be raw. Raw. <laughs> Everything we've been saying. Raw. No edit. Raw. 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 raw dogging it, dude. All right. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> so. YouTube is enforcing just stricter guidelines since it happened. Not only for the kids side, since that's kind of a separate entity. It's just like you know, kids YouTube. They're doing it for all content creators, which is just making it hard for a lot of big YouTubers as well as newer YouTubers. What kind of guidelines? Hell if I know. You just think YouTube's the type to just like kill itself and just it's censoring? Yeah. I think so. It's going to censor itself to the point where it's just going to be a commercial platform. Our next Only commercials, like, you know, they're going to show clips from TV shows and shit, but because they pay the most. Our next platform will be 4chan. Uh, no. <laughs> no, because I don't want my YouTube video being next to some decapitated child. I do. Uh, mm, why not? <laughs> you know, finally. That's that already kids' not. side of YouTube. I mean, we're doing pretty good already. <laughs> we're almost there. We're the almost there. there. Oh my gosh. No, I. It's just weird because, you know, YouTube's such a huge thing. It got bought by Google. It's controlled by Google, so I feel like even if YouTube starts censoring itself, Google will find a way to make it work. Because what do you think their name for that would up, be? Google. I don't know. Just like they have to end YouTube and they have to like start another platform. Right now, people. Goo-tube? New-tube! New-tube! I can see them <laughs> doing okay. this. <laughs> I, can, I can already find them finding a problem with a new name, like, with the tube in it, because there's already a lot of porn sites that have already hopped up. Oof. They're going to have to pay a yeah. royalty for some porn site that's not going to be the But it's new themselves, name. you know? Yeah, like, they just Google take over Red platform. Tube. But there's you. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many pissed off 40-year-old men. Fucking dicks in hand, they're like, we want our porn back! More like <laughs> pissed- Our kids YouTube! More like pissed off me. <laughs> yeah, I know. What do you think the point of that would be <laughs> for them to just have protests? <coughs> just guys having the- Cause you know guys aren't very open with their porn. Are you kidding me? I don't know what the fuck you're talking street about. Just shouting they want their porn bag. Like, uh, who are well, those men? I would I, think it'd be even funnier if they're like fucking like, you know, protest signs had fucking like hardcore images on their shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just get the most like <laughs> fucked up scenes. Like try not just, to come. I'll get signs. six yeah. girls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> have a picture of six girls finger painting. You know, there is like we want our porn. We want our porn. Oh god, yeah, get that, uh, the thumbnail of, um, the Spongebob one where he's, like, in a fucking, like, six-foot-wide Spongebob costume and his face oh, is painted god, yeah. and he's Ew. trying to fuck Sandy Cheeks. Yeah, no. Beat some Sandy <laughs> Cheeks. Beat some Sandy <laughs> Oh my gosh, that, that'll be the name for this one. Beat some Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> Episode Eat one, bag Beat dick. some Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> of ear creepy. Have you ever had sand in your ass cheeks at like the beach or something? Oh god. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. Oh, it's, like, it's like having like, it's like your ass just becomes like sandpaper. Yeah, yeah. you can feel walking. it like... Oh, you just like, know you're oh, in a rash no. or something. Yeah, your fucking asshole's all oh, cut up by I the time a, you get home. I had it one time where I, like, I got like to the hotel and you know, I was like went to clean myself off. I was bleeding on my ass. Cause it just, there was so much sand. Oy vey. It, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt. Fuck that. Yeah. Tell me more. Okay. In the bathroom. You're not close enough to the mic. You gotta get fucking close to the mic. I bet you had like the whisper. most exfoliated ass a lot. Yeah. Oh, probably. Little bitch. No oh. calluses on that bitch. No. <laughs> no calluses on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Next week's podcast, uh, Ask Callus. 
Ask. <laughs> I was gonna start coming soon. Ass, ass calluses. Okay, so we're, we're Platform putting... near you. Callus ass sounds like you'd have to put in a lot of fucking man hours. For that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of elbow oh, grease yeah. on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like if your ass is callus, like what part of the ass? See, we're literal man, man hours. All the way around. <laughs> so like, I feel like I wonder if some old porn stars like they have like callus assholes now. Just because of how hard they've taken it. And they never used lube. They never used lube. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Like, 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 just dry. Was. So you think like, they're like... Spit and, spit and go, dude. They're like, spit, tug, let's go. Back in my day, we wouldn't care about if we're chafing or bleeding. You fucking go till you come, like... <laughs> you see, like, you see this, like, like old, old, like, porn star. She's, like, talking to her fucking, like, 98 grandchildren. She's like, back in my day, we didn't have... <laughs> <laughs> That's where all you fuckers came from. <laughs> All we, had, all, only. all we had was literal sheepskin. <laughs> we, we just took sheep intestines and worked just fine. Ring, ring them out. <laughs> ring them out, dry them out. I am know. a sausage. Have you guys ever heard of that one guy? Uh, it's like a porn star or something, but he's like known for like shoving like crazy big shit out of his oh, ass. Yeah. And he has like to wear a diaper because he has like no, his sphincters don't work anymore. Yeah. What like, the he's fuck? He's done like... Fucking football size plus fucking dildo. Just oh fucking, no! His ass eats it at that. Oh point. no! Like imagine being in the middle of a porno, if, like you can't like control your shit, you know, and like just fucking come. I'm pretty sure they make him shit before. Yeah, just maybe he takes like just some like glasses. ruin the video. Unless he's like a colostomy bag now, which fuck he might like. I bet there's a fetish just a cork, for that. Just cork it. That's what I do. Colonoscopy bag. Like here comes Dave, fucking gonna whip out his bee hole for everyone. <laughs> oh god. Just see, that would just be honestly so wrong. You, you just hear somebody. It's like prolapse asshole aisle eight. Fucking over the intercom. And he's like, what again? When did, when did we go to the grocery store? Yeah, every time you go to the grocery store, you just see a lump hanging out. It's like, oh, what? Did that guy shit himself? No, that's his prolapse asshole. He wears a diaper, I wonder so how he might the, be able to, like, wrap it up and I wonder how that baby. guy would do in prison. Oh, he'd oh. fucking... He'd fit he would, gang. Yeah, dude, he'd be their there. pack mule. Do you think he would really mind, though? He's already spent so many years shoving shit up his ass. Like, a, like there's no dick that can compare anymore. I know, right? Like, unless it rips his prostate, I doubt. He'd have to, anything. like, fuck the toilet or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when he shits, he, he goes like, well, he just pulls it open and wraps it around. Oh! oh. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy boy. <laughs> He could like hella sneak food back in with him though, you know, like. Why would you ever take it back out after it's already <laughs> in? That's my problem. <laughs> A man who can fit me. bowling balls up his ass. Movie theaters hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Go through these simple steps to figure out how you can do it. <laughs> I mean, if you have nothing else to lose, like. <laughs> all it, all you need is a Ziploc food. bag and mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, that's mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. All I thought when you said that was an Eminem song. Yes. All right. I can't sing because of copyright. But you know the song. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> mom's a spaghetti. Knees weak. Palm spaghetti. Copyright. Mom's spaghetti, spaghetti already. He, mom's he's spaghetti. spaghetti. He's spaghetti. But on the surface, he looks calm and spaghetti to drop bombs, but he keeps on spaghetting. What he wrote down. <laughs> I love that. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. He keeps on spaghetti what he wrote down. Yeah, sp <laughs> Austin. Oh, yes. Austin. Wow. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm just I saw here. It. Going it. He's like, I got the mic in front of me. I'm about to drop these bars. He's just waiting. No, he's right. thinking. <laughs> so, Brandon, you said you wanted to talk about Black Panther, specifically Black Panther what Party. Like the one that the Black Stop Panther into? Party. Whites are inferior. Are we talking? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, we are talking about uh, the, the Kendrick Lamar album. Oh, also. yeah. Uh, but like, as far as the movie goes, I liked it a lot. Uh, I'm a I'm a huge music person. All I could listen to was like the tribal ass drums, and it was reaching into my primal roots. <laughs> you feel? 
<laughs> I think I feel. I think I've always Broad. feel whenever I sit down and I'm like, I want to listen to some tribal drums right now. I'm like, some tri- ooh, 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 ooh. Some I feel like start slapping my hands and I'm like getting ready to me go. Hyphy as fuck. I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like getting super hyped. I'm, yeah. Like that's a. One of, so, one of my favorite parts was uh, how like the the rival tribe, the the fifth one that didn't join, they were actual gorillas. Like that was their shit. Like you got like the Black Panther King T'Challa, Hala, and of, what what, pronounce? of Wakanda, 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 and like they they were like the Panthers and shit. Well, these guys who lived in the mountains, they were like dead ass silverback gorillas. Really? And I just thought it was like low key racist. Oh, yeah, they talking about like the gorillas from like the Vietnam shit or whatever. Nah, no, what, what I'm talking about. Of the apes. Represented, oh. they're represented. Represented by like, apes, like, yeah. Uh, that's that's their animal. That's their oh, spirit. I see. I animal. Well, Honda is the panther. Too. They're the yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, I don't know if you can call that racist though because I know, right? I, I, I mean, like you have the panther, you know, and then you have them as gorillas, but like. Where they were, it, it worked for me. Like no, but dude, the funniest thing was is like they would start chaining and it would just be like gorilla screeches and shit. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> ah! it's like making like. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, um, yeah. probably one of the last things I gotta say about about, <laughs> about the movie was um, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Why are y'all smelling the mic? <laughs> Yo, hey, let little me know. smell the mic. No, I blew my vape on it. And she's like, do you think they can smell that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, one of the last things to do about the album at the very end of the movie, uh, spoiler alert, uh, there like a again. spaceship comes down in fucking Oakland. We're not a spaceship, but like the Wakanda is mobile. A, <laughs> Wakanda mobile. <laughs> but no, it, it lands in like a basketball <laughs> fucking park in Oakland, and in these Oakland? kids are like. Yo, man, we can part this shit out and make some quick money. Yo, it's a space Bugatti. <laughs> hey, look, we can break it apart. We can sell it on eBay. Uh, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a space Bugatti. I shit you not. Space Bugatti. Space Bugatti. That needs to be an album title. That's what Space Kevin Bugatti. Did. Yeah, Space yeah, I Bugatti. Made that there album should have Bugatti. You got X. You got King's Dead. And then you got Space Bugatti, track three. What's up? <laughs> so, so you wanted to talk about the music. Yeah, the music. I, um, I've i never really listened to an album like it. Um, like, I've never really listened no, to like, a stupid, soundtrack. But I don't understand albums. Like, listening all the way through and them having like a story behind it. So, never... I mean, like, back... Like, Pink Floyd is a good example. It's like, Wish You Were Here... Um, they based that like the album. People are still doing it like now on the yeah. like, current albums. And... Yeah, why the fuck not? And I just don't. I just don't, I, well, I, I and and then like that albums, way, people but... will like buy your whole album because they want to like hear it all the way through. And if it's to me when I listen to them, they're never cohesive. And I never get that. Well, story. I get the same thing. The only one was Mad City. That album yeah, was yeah, cohesive yeah, yeah. as far as the plot went. I was able I, to listen to it all the way through, but I think. Most, I don't get it. I think Damn is a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a weird fucking album. Well, it's we, just fucking weird and I like it. Well, the thing is, Kendrick is a lyricist. Yes. Like, he is masterful. He is great at doing what he does. So he's able to tell the story coherently. A lot of bands, you know, uh, rock and rolls can be a hard one to do, especially new rock that's coming out. Yeah. To cohesively tell a story. But uh, Kendrick Lamar is the only one I found that I can actually listen to a story while coming through. I know, right? Like, one of my favorite songs on that album is Fear. And, uh... It's like... If I could smoke fear away, I'd roll that motherfucker up. And then I take two puffs. I'm high now. Ah, I'm high now. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's fucking like 
It's so weird, and it's like telling a story about like how you grow up to be afraid, like how is, I I believe it's his father figure, uh, is saying like, like if you do this this or that, I'm a fucking beat beat your ass. So if you tell the social workers you live here, I'll beat your ass. I'll beat your ass if I beat your ass, and you don't, and you come back. You, you know. Better stay back, boy. Yeah, better stay the fuck back. And and then another thing is I've heard you listen to the album backwards and there are like actual messages and that's the way it was made. Um, a good example is Fear because there's dead ass like half a verse that is actually backwards. It's like it's maybe, not even like up happened. to interpretation that it's backwards. It's like Literally. some sad Satan shit. Really? Like, yeah. like you play the shit backwards, you're gonna hear him say like you know, get me out of here or something like that. I don't know, something like that. I'm being held hostage by Jimmy (laughs) Iveen. For what? Um, Stairway to Heaven, if you play it backwards. Yeah, that's a huge one. Yeah, that's the the Sad Satan one. Don't they all sound like crazy? Don't any songs sound crazy backwards? Yeah, yeah. 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 anything backwards. Anything just could sound satanic backwards. Yeah. But these are like... Yes, I'm rocking my life like <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. It fucking. Ratatatata. Ratata. I have to say, like, you have to be a genius if you're gonna send a message backwards. Like, yeah. when, when you're singing, to actually have it backwards when you're singing. For that's real. crazy. That's. Like, unless you say race car. I mean. Race car. Race car. Race car. I like race car. Just make a song called Race Car. And My bed is a race car. Wouldn't that be cool though? You have like a song that's called Race Car, and like so when you play it forward and backwards, it's the exact same. And that's like the whole uh, point behind cool. it. Um, I could not imagine that being done. That's actually like act- fucking insane. It's so insane that like, I you want to see it. The, yeah. I'm sure Rob Scallion made a video that was like, um, he wrote a song that. Sounded like hella weird, but when you play it backwards, it was like a perfect song. Oh my god. And he also did that with a Metallica song, too. Yeah. It was hella cool. That's oh. fucking dope. Some people in this world, I swear. That's where all the talent is. <laughs> Even though I don't have any. I... Yeah, and that's, why you're, it all that's why you're doing a fucking podcast. I know. <laughs> Which, thank you, audience, for listening. The lowest level of media. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're starting to trend now more. Oh, they're definitely trending. Because if you got past Auschwitz and hemorrhoid gravy, you're in the real nitty gritty. Yeah, I'm sorry because of the rest of my content on my channel. I'm definitely sectioning this one off. Yeah. This is just going to be, hey, if you want to like listen to our personal stuff, here you go. Ugh. Who here would get their asshole bleached? Who wouldn't? <laughs> Sneaky turtles but raising why not? Jonathan hey. would. <laughs> uh, we Question is, is who am I trying to impress? Up. Face down, <laughs> ass up, us laying side by side as friends. Fucking Groupon. Right now, let's get our asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Groupon has a part Groupon has a fucking... It's okay. It's in the fine print. Cause you can't really like fucking put that out there like fucking how many of us? Five... It's assholes bleach, you know. Five assholes yeah. bleach, fifty percent off yeah. full purchase. So That'd be a steal. I'm pissed at grip on yo. And a wax it, you know, <laughs> bleach and wax. Fucking make your bee hole. Fucking make the world go round. Shit, I don't God. know. My asshole is gonna be aerodynamic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Put a wind tunnel on that bitch, you will find no lag. I want my fucking no drag. asshole no drag. to shine. I want it to blind. Like, <laughs> like you, you legally can't show you. You cannot moon a train in case you actually blind mm-hmm. the person driving the train. You get like, tackled you in listed. Washington D.C. <laughs> <laughs> it's like make sure this guy doesn't take off his pants. All right, been known to admit highlights. Speaking of Washington D.C. and wait, getting wait. tackled by security. Bleach um, your asshole. Yeah, and asshole bleaching. I, I went on a trip with my school to um, go to Washington, D.C. in Same. New York. And uh, yeah, t- and a sneaky turtle went on it too. And uh, this was like an eighth grade trip or something like that. And uh, this kid that I was paired with, he bought a laser pointer. 
Oh, yeah. And he was shining it, like, from the windows of the bus all over the place. The, the lady doing the tour guide, rightfully so, flipped a tit on him. Like, just <laughs> called... <laughs> <laughs> just, just picks up <laughs> over the shoulder it goes. <laughs> but rightfully so. It was like he got called out so fucking hard. He was so butthurt. He's like, man, I'm only just shining a laser. Ugh. It's not like I got a fucking AR. I think what really would have set it in for him is if he like saw a laser shine on him. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He looks and he sees the glare from the stun paper just like flash real quick and then just <laughs> <laughs> and, like just a fake like a fake noise, you know, just like the fake his head with head. Head ball. Yeah, just a paintball straight to the head. Oh and, like fifty meters away. Just... Like Oof. that's why we don't let you have a laser pointer. <laughs> Cause you get fucking capped. Dude, I, like Cats with laser pointers are fucking awesome. Fucking yeah. Cats. Cats yeah. Put a laser pointer on a cat in Washington, D.C. and see what happens. We don't know where he's going. He's a frantic cyber. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Oh, my gosh. This. Mm. Mm, I have a bus story. Oof. A bus story. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Kind of like that. But... We rode the bus coming home, and someone thought it would be funny if they blew up a condom and, like, let it go. So they did, and the bus driver's like, I'm not going to yell at you guys, because I feel bad for whoever's condom that was. <laughs> Imagine somebody about to go to town, and they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> I fucking made a balloon. I made a balloon instead of slamming. Slam. <laughs> Nine months later, It was really funny, because we know these people. It was the Nick Rockwell group. <laughs> in, el in elementary or in middle school or junior high makes sense man i have That's a story i went on a field trip to fucking red lobster people red lobster. i went to on a fucking field trip to red lobster that is the place to dine and dash on a field trip <laughs> oh absolutely and we didn't even take a bus we had to walk <laughs> the oh. story got like 10 times more sadder <laughs> 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 like more poor. It's like we're on Just... the equivalence of trial of uh, the trail of tears here. <laughs> yeah. Big like inner city kids. It was far away. <laughs> <laughs> we were in kindergarten. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you going to Red Lobster and why are you walking? Boom, boom, boom. I know we're going down here. Exactly. This is getting depressing. What, right. what did everyone order? Yeah. Wait, they took us in the kitchen. <laughs> you couldn't even eat outside in the dining room? They won't let you <laughs> see their face. They're like, get in the fucking kitchen. They're gonna put them to work. They're like, piece of shit, kids. Make your own battered fucking shrimp. That's what we had, by the way. We all made battered shrimp and bread. Oh, wait, you had to make your food. You actually had to make your <laughs> yes. food. Yes, they're like... This is the most depressing. I'm about to cry. This so is like, fucking depressing. You're kindergarten. You're kindergarten. Just like, how can we spend the least amount of money? <laughs> they did, and they fucking make them walk, make their food. They probably only, they only probably like and pay, teach pay them a lot to get the kids in. Like, for the honestly, food, for the batter. Like, yeah, it's like as long as. Wait, kids... did you guys eat it or did you make it for the people outside? No, no we ate it. Okay. Oh my god, you're only gonna poison yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if, they're, if they're like, if we're gonna kill anybody, it's gonna be the kids in here. We're gonna use their bodies. <laughs> So they we made our own anywhere. shrimp. Look at where they're from. <laughs> they Wait, you had to raise your own shrimp and then slaughter them? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, so they took us in the kitchen. We, like, battered our own shrimp and shit. And it was okay, you know, like, but they were trying to show us, like, yeah, a job at Lo Red Lobster so fucking cool. And I'm like, are you trying to recruit us right now? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Did they even take you? Yeah. I know. What do you what if from that moment on you spent your whole life trying to get a job at Red Lobster and they just turn you down? <laughs> like, oh, no. Your life is a lie, right? <laughs> Fuck, I thought uh, I had an in with like little Jonathan in fucking kindergarten had an in. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Red Lobster. It, it went, so when you said that, that I'm reminds a shoo me of an episode of Scott's Tots. How you promised them oh, all that they were going to go to college God. and none of them got to. They got fucking batteries for laptops. <laughs> yeah, you got your promise. <laughs> Laptop batteries. Yeah, he's like, well, I got a bunch of laptop batteries here. They're not cheap, you guys. Which I understand. Laptop batteries actually aren't. Shit's fucking expensive. But the story gets better. Scholarships to college. 
full ride. <laughs> I was just like. <sighs> so not only we made our own shrimp, but fuck it, it gets better. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna get better, but I'm waiting. They took us downtown for some reason, which was like the opposite direction of Red Lobster. At the fuck, I could be a blur at this point since I'm older. You? Is this like child trafficking? We got on a bus, a fucking beeline, fucking downtown Chico. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, they took a whole fucking kindergarten class, and there was some fucking twacks on there, like, going fucking well, crazy. Like, 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 after, after the kids got on there, they're doing the count again, and they're noticing they're missing about four students. <laughs> we did get counted a few times. <laughs> you just see all these old guys, like, just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Are, like trapped on the bus going to the next stop. They got taken by that one guy with the extremely <laughs> wide asshole. <laughs> In the big ass trench coat. He, he went like up to them and like <laughs> just grabbed him with the trench coat. They're like gone. Yeah, so after that we took a beeline and they dropped us off where the fuck we went. It's kind of a blur now, but like... <laughs> You're like, I don't know, there was a bunch of bleached assholes. There's there was a bunch of bleached assholes. Oh, God, we were in a field. Yeah. The room oh. was covered in plastic. I remember, they dropped this off at a park. <laughs> and, okay, did you have to walk back? Yes, we did have to walk back. Oh my god. But no, it gets better at the park. They took us to this like nasty ass park. And we we're like, okay, cool. So the kids start running over and start playing. They're like, wait, wait, no, no, get away, get away. And they like made us all like stand away from the park. And we're like, what the fuck? And then like one of the <laughs> fucking like an tanks. explosive goes on and you're actually in an explosive field. <laughs> They're, no. they're using kids to find the mines. <laughs> just, go, just go running, kids. Here's a ball. That's some Vietnam shit. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Back I heard in Vietnam Nam. stories of that. <laughs> but fucking no, we, they cut the glass gone. They made us fucking like stand off for a minute, and one of the fucking you know how like you can have like some parents come with you on like field trip. Oh yeah. One of the parents had to go in there and like go collect the homeless shit that was underneath all the stuff at the oh, park. Oh, There's just oh, piles no. of homeless shit everywhere. Was there any needles? No. Did, did you remember? Uh, like, not that I know of, but there's a lot of mounds of homeless shit, and like they had to go through with like plastic bags and pick it up like dog poop, and they're like, okay, now you guys can go play. And I'm like, oh, I'm whoa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's all clear. It's like <laughs> that's, like, that's like the equivalent of going to like a radioactive place and like and they're just picking up the like the like things of plutonium they're like alright it's good now yeah <laughs> you're okay you can inhabit Chernobyl again <laughs> <laughs> you can have Chernobyl back go use all the rusted and fucking radiating uh, Ferris wheels and shit oh. we walked back to school after that <laughs> How do you guys take the beeline there? I know! You take- you don't even take the bus there or back. You use it to just to get to the park. I think that's fucked the up. The shit park. Yeah, the shit park. You well, use it to go to point B to point C. You know, speaking of homeless, <laughs> for the past, like, week and a half now, um, by the dumpster where our apartment oh, is, there's like a little, like, Hanging with it, couldn't get rained on. Like a little <laughs> shitty shed, like our fucking. We live a in a crack too. shack, people. Yeah, there's like hell every, every day. Like, every <laughs> day, <laughs> different homeless people <laughs> there. Oh my god! You all walk outside. You're like, you're not Jeff. I'm Rodney. There was a guy <laughs> like. <laughs> I'll eat out your ass. There's a guy like wrapped up Don't in worry, the carpet there and got the trash, and he was just like shaking hella bad, like wrapped up in the carpet, and I was like, okay. Yeah, sometimes, like, it used to not be all bad, you know? It used to just be, like, nasty mattresses and shit, but now, like, the fucking homeless people are coming in, and, like, I feel bad for them, but at the same time, like, there's just fucking trash everywhere now. Like, you can tell every time someone, like, throws something in there, they go through it. Like, I feel bad for the guy who has to go through my fucking cat's litter box bag. <laughs> like, he's, like, looking at the food. Either. He's, like, looking at the nugs. He's like, I have to. <laughs> I mean, in a week, I have to. I love almond rocas. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like that one episode. I just, oh, I get it. In the diaper, it's disguised as, it's like, it's disguised as a turd. It's like, we never had a diaper. <laughs> He's where like, did he, you get that? Where did you get that? A little bit of my bump right there. Oh, oh, oh there we go. No, yeah. that was... Oh. Yeah, I, you know... I think homeless wouldn't be so bad as long as they threw the trash they had in the trash. Yeah, they're freaking like, garbage everywhere. Like, we don't have a problem with you, homeless people, if you're listening to this. Some magical oh, way it's, you're listening to You can come and go soul. if you please. You know, throw a trash. I don't care. Just clean up. 
when you're done. Yeah. I've been Take homeless before and you kind of have you. to like you clean up after yourself or else people are going to be like fucking scum. Piece I, of shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. you're fucking homeless because you don't clean up after yourself, bitch. <laughs> like, no offense to you. I'm sorry you're like down on your Total life. Total offense, but... bitch. <laughs> bitch. Being bitch. Homeless. I ain't never going to stop loving you. <laughs> bitch. No, it's like... It, it, okay, so Just you, joking. I, I've been... Homeless before for a short amount of time. It was not fun, but I did make a lot of friends <laughs> My bike got stolen and then I got it back from I wouldn't the people even who call that it. being homeless. It was not homeless, you guys but put I yourself slept yourself out there and I, was cer as fuck. I certainly did I can't believe you guys did that. That's just plain. You, you don't even have to be any type of smart to know that's a stupid idea Bro, we were bored that's not being bored, that's being downright retarded. Ugh. Do it for the You blind. have to tell the story now. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Him because... Alright, so this is why I, I don't Watch smoke out. cannabis anymore. <laughs> <laughs> as, as Nothing against long rips people in the background, smoke. That is okay. Or don't smoke. But now the thing is, Do you I, um, <laughs> I was with three of my friends. Um... A little bit of mic, mic movement. Right there. Oh, sweet. He's holding it. And, um, I'm going. So, we were just hanging around our hometown, which is up the hill from Chico. And, California. um... California, yes. Up the hill from the town of California. The where... hills have eyes, just remember that. <laughs> yes. And, uh, we were really <laughs> bored. And we all had bikes, and we were like, Yo. What if we like rode our bikes down to Chico? Mind you, this is like 13 miles straight downhill. And um, we, we couldn't take like the main highway because that would actually be suicide. Yeah. What we did instead oh, wasn't really? too much better. Um, cool. there, there was this road called Honey Run and um, it weaves through the canyon. And uh, we were in a line. Do you need the bottom? And we would, we would just scream, um, car for every time there was a car in front or behind us, and depending on who screamed it, we would know. And <laughs> we made it down safely. It was kind of a pain in the dick hole, but, um, mind you, the entire purpose of this was to hit up a party on a Thursday. Why a party on a Thursday? Because Club clubs turn up on Tuesdays, Tuesdays yeah. <laughs> and, right. uh, and we did find a party, but we didn't go to it. I'll get, I'll get to that. I don't know why we fucking didn't. Um, Probably actually, no, I know exactly time, why we didn't. And um, so we were hanging out, and we went to a park. And uh, this, this park is known for having a high homeless population. And we all had bike locks and we locked up our bikes. And in the meantime, we were trying to score weed and, um, and, we, and we did. So like we had that for like- <laughs> And we did. And we, and we did. Let's not go into detail. Bleach some assholes, suck some dick, a little bit of this and that. You nah, know, gang I've, shit. I've never sold myself. Thank God. Except for right now. I'm selling out. Speaking of which, our sponsor did it. No, we don't have a sponsor. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, they canceled on us, so... <laughs> I'm giving you reports. Sponsor us, please. Yes. So, um... We were having a really hard time in Chico, trying to, like, figure out what to do, where to go, and where the fuck we were going to sleep. So we were walking around downtown, um... And, and we saw this line of people, almost like a drunk-ass Kong line. <laughs> and at at the very front was this uh, homosexual gentleman. Thank you, Tyler. There was this homosexual gentleman, and he was pretty much saying like, "We party at our house, yeah." That kind of shit. And my homophobic friends were like, "Nah, man, I don't fuck with faggots." <laughs> 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 Basically. I'm not friends with them anymore. Um, I've cut <coughs> ties. And, uh... Dude, I'm coughing from that. Holy shit. <coughs> Sorry. Good god. <laughs> oh <was> my. <coughs> but, like... We, we had to, uh... <coughs> we had to 
hunker down and sleep in a castle. In this this castle, it's it's a fucking children's thing. Cape Raker is oh, a yeah. park for children. <laughs> we were going to sleep in like the tilted house with the slide. Tilted towers, my boys. Yeah, tilted towers. That's where I'm landing. Are you the reason why those holes aren't in the park anymore? They took them out for the homeless because homeless people were sleeping them. You remember like the little caves in there and everything? Oh, homeless. No, I actually didn't even think about that. I don't know why the fuck we didn't do that. It's probably not there anymore. It's been gone for a while. Yeah, shit. That was when we were little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they took us early. But yeah, we we slept on. On right, yeah. bark in the middle of our summer. Uh, maybe got like three hours of sleep. Let's go, boys. Um, well, why we, did we, we just ride back. They got their bikes stolen. No, I'm, I'm about to get to that. Uh, we <laughs> had it. We had it locked up in this park that is hella sketchy. Homeless people, 24/7, and uh, not just homeless people, but homeless tweakers. Uh, gotta love Butte County being like the highest meth addict rate in California. Fuck it up, Butte. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I found that my bike was stolen when we got back, and I had the nicest bike out of everyone. Yeah. Two of our bikes were stolen. It was a super and, um, and I was so distraught. <laughs> Aww. My heart was broken. I didn't know what I was going to tell my parents. Uh, Did they know you were going to Chico? Hell fucking no. Okay. Real quickly, I just want to preface. This is about to go uh, from zero to hundred real quick coming up. Yeah, it's about it's, to go zero to a hundred. I just want to preface everybody listening. Just make sure if you're ignoring us, tune in right now because it's about yes. to go crazy. Um, so I found that my bike was stolen and I was heartbroken. And, and my friends were trying to console me, and uh, so, you know, we smoke a little bit of weed about it. <laughs> and um, we, we were uh, by the Chico State campus, and it's a beautiful campus. It's basically intertwined with Bidwell Park and a lot of the wildlife there. It's a beautiful place to go to college. And, Google uh, it. Google it, bitch. Um, Get that Google view. Yeah. Make Google do it. Hugh Hefner voted it like the party school fucking back in some time. I don't remember. Look it up. It was, it was the number one party school for a while. Yeah. yeah. A um, long time. Uh, what's, uh, what do Stephen Hawking and uh, Hugh Hefner have in common other than being dead? What? They're both experts in black holes. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Yuck, 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 Back to the story. So... At Chico State, uh, smoking some weed, and we go down into this creek bed, kind of by it, and um, and out of the corner of my eye, over like this mound of rocks, I see my bike flipped upside down, and in my head, I'm ready to throw hands. <laughs> At the same time, I'm fully conscious that homeless people bought it, and they are definitely armed. <laughs> they bought With it. something. <laughs> something. Uh, it could be a chiseled down toothbrush, or it could fucking be, I don't know, they're broken meth pipe. They're hep C needles? Yeah, they're oh, hep yeah. C needles. Uh, poison damage. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> so... I, I go to inspect, and it turns out we had met these people the day before, and they were very cool people, and they recognized that it was my bike, and they bought it off the people, and uh, they they were super cool about it, like we gave them some weed because of it, I was super grateful, and uh, a lot of, there was some shit that was stripped off of it, which was kind of a bummer, but it was still rideable. And, uh, how long, in a span of like how long, was this bike stolen, sold, and stripped? This was less than 24 hours. It was like a night. Oh, it was, it was, a, night. It was a single okay. night. Yeah. And so, um, so we get going, we go to this park called One Mile, which is just a 
big, is it one mile or five mile? That's the big ass fucking pool. One mile. One, one mile. mile. One, yeah, one mile is the pool. And uh, cool. we're hanging out there, and the people I got the Google bike it. from, got it back <laughs> from, they come up to me, and they say, there's some people around that really fucking want your bike. I think you should get the fuck out of here. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, how bad could it be? They were telling me about this guy. Uh, I forget his name. Let's just call him Rimmer. Uh, that, <laughs> that was, was, that, that was, 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 that was of his nature to rip. <laughs> <laughs> rip ass. Rip ass. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and they were telling me about this guy and how he, like, killed some 14-year-old, like, last summer or some shit over, like, a doobie or whatever. Yeah, fuck yeah, I fucked up a 14 year old, took my joint, you know, fucking nigga. Fuck you killed him. Yeah. I just fucking killed him. Yeah, and he straight up has Ripper or whatever the fuck his name is, like tattooed across his chest. <laughs> big, yeah. I'd fuck big him. Big six foot, hell yeah. <laughs> big six foot four man. And uh, scary as fuck. Never, never ran that. into him, which was very fortunate because he probably would have killed us for our bike, but they were telling us that there was $200 out, which is a gold bar for homeless people. Yeah. That that's your that's your racks. That's a and fucking platinum bar for me, two hundred dollars. That, that's your uh, that's your Master meth money right there. And uh, so my my friend, I've never seen him falter like this before, but he was basically crying. With with how nervous he was, and just like, man, I just want to get out of here, dude. Like, let's get let's get to a wide open area, man. And it's like, uh, dude, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. I'm fucking nervous too. No one's gonna get this bike. No one's gonna get you guys. We're we're gonna be okay. So we managed to get to a Taco Bell, and that's when the anxiety kicks in. It's like most like populated place in the town is that Taco Bell by the, by the mall. <laughs> Damn, and I'm and I'm freaking out for some reason, and we're just trying to find a ride back home because there's no way I'm gonna fucking ride up Skyway or Honey Run on a single speed BMX bike. And um, it, it was it was a hell of a time. It was uh, <laughs> we we tried hitchhiking, that didn't work. I have another hitchhiking story. Um, I got picked up by my principal. No <laughs> joke. It was. It was, uh, Christy. Mr. Christie, yes. Yep. It, he was actually really cool about it. And he always has been. He, yeah, Mr. Christie's a He thug. always let everybody know that, you know, it's like, hey, you know, if you need anything, like, you can always count on me. It's I really hope he's not listening to this, but I always thought he was the type of principal that would go pick up oh. teenage oh, girls. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, he kind of comes off that way. By the way, fuck your moogles. I hated that shit. You remember yeah, that? Moodles. 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 They're essays every week. Yeah, Weekly right. Weekly fucking essay. Well, I mean, I have to do that now, but that's Essay. all. It's just not sophomore year of high school. Yeah, really. we weren't even seniors. They were sophomores. And we had to do a... Well, yeah, minimum of four paragraph Kids, essay. that's why you drop out of school. We are highly not recommending this. Do not drop out of school. Okay, do so it, bitch. You yeah, need that shit. You fucking wall no walls. <laughs> so Mr. Christie pick, ended up picking you up, though? Yeah, thing. Mr. Christie ended up picking me up. I was with a buddy, um, and uh, we were trying to get up into Megalia so, you know, we could puff on that reefer. And <laughs> Did you have weed on you when you were in this No, nah, we yeah. actually didn't, and we weren't high yet. And that's what made it okay. And, um... We were just thinking to my to ourselves, like, really hope we don't get picked up by some rapist or a murderer or both. <laughs> but we were wrong. Most of the time, a we raper is gonna wrong. be wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. Dang it. <laughs> Didn't get my asshole fucking ripped open. Resized. <laughs> Resized. The only time I'm so disappointed to be wrong. <laughs> I know, right? So no. we made it up to Miguel, but there there was a lot of stupid shit that I did in the pursuit of weed, and uh, that's why I don't smoke. How anymore. did you get to Megalia? How did we get to Megalia? From Chico. Christy. Oh no no no! This is a totally different time. Oh, okay. This was like like somewhat recent. The bike time. How did you, when you're the bike time? Um, Mr. Christie. Some <laughs> nah. Uh, someone's fucking uh, foster. 
dad or something like that uh, was kind enough to give us a ride back up. And, uh, and, I, and I got home safely. Did parents ever find out? Uh, I ended up telling them about it yeah. af- after the fact, like, much longer. And uh, they, were, they were pretty pissed about it. <laughs> but that's okay. I really, you know, like, I have to say, like, I don't know what I should say on here just because of my parents. But I should say it anyways. I don't do really it. Care. So, back when we all used to hang out with JJ yes. and you know, that whole crew, a Squall. lot of the time, I would be the one to hide the alcohol. And so, you know, just put it under the mattress, take it out, and let's go. And I remember one time, I accidentally put it under there, and I guess the, the lid wasn't screwed on properly. Oof. And... Did you smell that shit? Oh, I could. I don't know how my mom could. Like, she would walk in my room, and I could smell it clear as day. And she wouldn't smell it at all. Like she'd walk in and she'd be like, "Oh, do you know where this is?" I'm like, uh, "No," you know, like trying to be chill. You know that, like when you're trying to be chill, but you're like too chill. You're like, "Yeah, I'm not. I don't know what that is." <laughs> and they're like, like and, <gasps> and <my> mom, <laughs> "They're just looking at you like something's up." Whoa, 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 right. whoa. I smell rat. <laughs> why, why I, got I smell a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I smell, smell pussy. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, I think the reason why they never caught on is, like, from, like, my junior year, I mean, there was there was a bunch of me sneaking out and, like, just going to go get fucked up. Obviously telling my parents, but they never Same. got in. They never knew JJ's parents, which was, like, they, I don't know how that didn't hit them off. But, um, Who's so, JJ? JJ, uh. One of your old buddies. Yeah, old, old we were buddies. tight with JJ Watts. JJ Watts, what's up? <laughs> Shout out to you, JJ Watts. Who's never gonna ever listen to this. Um, I <laughs> I, fuck, he might be the next subscriber. <laughs> no, but um, so, uh, like throughout that entire time, like the, I had plenty of mistakes. Like I, I was very sloppy hiding. But I think it's just because of how weird I was and like how off the wall I was. Whenever I seemed panicked, my parents weren't sure if I was just joking or not. And then I was, like, I never let him see me in a consistent mood when I was at home. And so I think that's the reason why I never got caught on. Well, Brandon, on the other hand, everybody knew his personality and what he was all about. So yeah. He, he, was a, he was a fucking ticky time bomb, like, as soon as yes. he figured out. Uh, I have a very addictive personality, and that's why it's better off for me to not uh, touch mind-altering substances or else... Sooner or later, I will end up with a needle in my arm. Probably under a bridge with bricks on your legs. Oh, you get, you get your town where I hey, copyright, blood. copyright, because I'm Okay, outside. sorry. <laughs> no, uh. Yes, <laughs> but. Uh, I've told you guys the first time I got high, right? I think so. Yeah, you told yeah. me. Is that where you were like. Oh, no, it wasn't your drunk when you turned to a bear on. Wait, what? Did you get naked and you turned into like a bear rug or something? Yeah. And you like laid on the ground because someone like pulled up their car. <laughs> Did that oh, have to yeah. do with uh, Max and the Orange? Or is that a totally different time? That's the, the, the Max and the Orange is, yes, that's the first time. Awesome. Let's go. But, um, yes, I do remember turning into a bear rug. <laughs> um, no, so my, fir- my first time, uh, you know, smoking. The reefer. The reefer. The jazz cabbage. Jazz. <laughs> Devil's lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a cabbage with sweet <laughs> sunglasses <laughs> and a tilted fedora. And he's playing the fucking trumpet. He's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, that's some jazz cabbage. Um, no, so the, the first time uh, I got high, we, you know, we went to JJ's. And I was sort of, you know, I came from, you know, Holy no shit. drugs at all, uh, none of that. And I started leaning towards it. <laughs> um, that year, you know, being my rebellious year. And so I was like, you know, I'll, I'll try it. And so they were, everybody was really shocked because I was the last person to try weed. And 
So I go, the first thing I hit out of is a gravity bomb made out of one of those giant pickle jars. <laughs> Oof. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go hard or yeah. go home. <laughs> oh, dude. I whitewalled that thing like three times. And, uh, That's heinous. Did you say white ball? Uh, uh, white wall. Heinous oh. in the uh, anus. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, you ever I, butt chug bottom water. <laughs> <laughs> chug bottom water. Nor have I. I have. <laughs> after I bleached it. <laughs> right after uh, I bleach it, it's like fucking aloe vera <laughs> soothes the asshole. But so, I, I you know. <laughs> I hit that, I cough a little bit, but I'm like, I don't feel anything. I maybe felt like, it felt like a tingle in my ears. And so I'm like, I don't feel anything. Like I must be, you know, super heavyweight. Mr. Krabs wasn't feeling it yet. I wasn't feeling it yet, (laughs) Mr. Krabs. And when, so I went through about like three joints, eight blunts and uh, like four bowls, I think. And, and, um, yes, would you like to share with the class? So I'm on my Facebook and I see that selfie. (laughs) And why would you set this as your profile picture? (laughs) I would completely set that as your Hey, you want to be my friend? (laughs) What? He's not even looking at the camera. No, it's, it's, it's like on the phone yeah, when he looks looking. at the flash instead of the camera, so he's like off. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what are you looking at, dude? You missed. Cheese. But, um, okay, so, you know, I go, I smoke a lot more. And at this time, we had to go pick up Dylan. And I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. I, I'm not feeling it, it you know, it... Maybe it's just because my first time is just bunk. So we have to we go up the hill and we get Dylan, who that night had picked up four THC pills. pills pure peels. THC. Some peels. This is 99.9% THC. 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 And it was about the size of like a horse pill. It was the, the active gr- ingredient in marijuana. Oh, yeah. And you just suck on it, or you just no, swallow, swallow it. it. I, it's just I like suckle it. on that shit. And There's so, some that like tastes good and shit. <laughs> and so, since I wasn't high yet, I'm like, I'm taking one. You're like, and I'm Max, putting it up my ass. That's it. Dude, <laughs> 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 you just hear yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine though, what, chug it with some coffee. You just, I know, like, oh, <laughs> oh, dude, I'd probably be dead, <laughs> honestly, because that thing was concentrated. And so, uh, when we get back, I'm like crushing up some more bud because for some weird reason, JJ always just—I I think it's because one of his friends had a uh, family was growing, and like they just family friends. So Perks of California, or uh, yeah, something. But um, so he ha- he probably had like two pounds of weed that we went through mm-hmm. in the span of a, a week and so uh so i'm grinding it right i'm, I'm picking out the buds because you know getting it all cleaned up and i start laughing and oh i just see max he's like i gotta start running he's like he's like jogging in place he's like, i just gotta start running guys i gotta start running so he starts jogging around the kitchen and he has one of those open ones where it's like, you know, you can walk through both ends and, you know, it's just a circle. He's jogging through that and I just start chuckling. And it's not I'm laughing at anything. I, I just start laughing uncontrollably the- and I start slamming. <laughs> no, 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 it was more like... <laughs> and like... It sounds like you got some extra in that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't know. X, that was actually X, THC. Tra, honestly. X, it's tra, Yeah. Ecstasy. X- <laughs> so... Like, it gets so bad, I'm, like, like not even just jokingly slamming my fist. I'm, like, legit that hard laughing. Like, I'm, in, like, I'm on a set of Seinfeld, and I'm, like, the only laugh track person. I have to make a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, like... I'm, like... <laughs> 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 and I'm dying. And Max is, like, now he's full booking it around in circles. <laughs> Dylan is like, he walks in and he's like, dude, what time is it? And he's like, it feels like it's about to be sunrise right now. And it's springtime, so we were expecting the sun to come up. And like, it's just getting dark. 
So it's around like 9.30. We got there, we got back to the house at uh, 9.22. It had only been eight minutes. And <laughs> we all thought, like we were all doing like, you know, how long it felt Max running. Like Max was like exhausted doing that. And like, been running all night. Yeah, and, I, and I'm like on the floor and I'm like, can't feel my legs. I'm like, oh my God. And so finally when I get up, and like I walk in there and, and it's like it's only 9.30. It's like, when did we get back? It's like 9.22. And, and so we're all talking. I sit in a chair and I look at Max and JJ. And I'm like, guys, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling it now. And the, they start busting up laughing. And I remember I just slowly, my head just started pulling my body forward. My face hit, and then my body slid out, and I slapped my head against the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and I just fell down limp, and I was like, guys, I can't move. <laughs> and they're like, dude, you can move. I was like, completely oh, cut I can't off. move my arms, but guys, I can't move my legs. That's the problem. <laughs> like, I'm trying to play it off, and I'm like, We have addressed the problem. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, I can, move, I, can, I can move my hands and arms again. But anything else, no. And so... They're like this, and so I start army crawling, and and I don't know what it was, but I heard somebody talk about, like, as soon as I heard the words, let's play hide and seek, I got up instantly off the ground, I found my legs again, and this is when I jumped over the side railing, and this wasn't a porch that's, like, close to the ground, it had about a two foot like two feet in between that and it has the high rails that are like was it on a deck oh yeah yes oh yeah and it's, it's like i probably fell four feet onto my back like jumping off the side after that i rolled under i rolled under the porch you were in it and yeah i was in it to win it i was plucky i plucked some of the stone out of like out of the back of me, like that pierced my shirt. Like, it's it, like your it, mind just knew the perfect spot oh. at that moment. You're like, I just see you like, that spot's mine! I think the funniest thing is when JJ told me when he remembered that, he was like, dude, the weirdest thing is we just saw you like book shit out and, and just. No one has ever even clear. agreed yet. <laughs> no, 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 it, was, it was just like an idea. It was an idea for how to go. It's like, see. hey, let's do this. And it works out like, Burr! Runs out the door. <laughs> the funny part was he his, he remembers his, he was like yeah and you could and he's like I looked I like was running after you but he couldn't even catch up to me and JJ's a tall guy he has lanky legs he was on track and he Tyler is me. fat as fuck yeah I, I was fat yeah, not back then not junior year necessarily oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know like I was a big guy you know I don't have nearly as long legs I outran him to the door because he started chasing after me. Because he was wondering what the fuck was going on, and I cleared. Sneaky turtle is one thick bit. <laughs> and, so, and so I clear the side railing, land on my back, and roll underneath. And by the time he got there, he thought I was still running, and he walked back inside and forgot about it entirely. <laughs> so, like all hide and seek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't. It, it wasn't even agreed upon. He just started chasing after me, and so he thought I actually cleared the railing and kept running. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, and so they everybody completely forgot about me, and it's funny like, because he's dead. hey, I'm Me used to it. <laughs> Are you just <laughs> still sitting there underneath the oh, yeah, piano? Yeah. And about 15 minutes, I laid there, laughing and chuckling to myself. <laughs> I, re I reached what they. Brandon, have you ever heard what uh, ego death is? The hide and go seek orgasm and never being found. <laughs> No, yeah, so really? so literally, I, I started looking at the rocks. I started looking at the rocks. You were rocks. the one that got found first. <laughs> no, Tyler, I've not heard of this. So ego, de ego death is either uh, your complete nothing or your complete everything. So you're either God or Yo. nothing. Like in your mind, you either you either achieve Nirvana or you f you you turn. Or you were the one that got found first. Yeah, but. So I'm like underneath there, I'm like having an existential crisis, like looking at these rocks. And then I hear somebody running and I don't recognize who it is. So I, like, I'm these like foot ready for patterns see. sound off. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the I am is, aware is this is where my subconscious took a back seat. And I remember I was watching everything as if it was a movie. I wasn't in control of my body anymore. 
So I roll out, I actually crawl out, and it was really creepy because I had like my ankles sideways, like my feet sideways, and I was like, crawling out, pushing. And it almost looked like a frog, you know, like sliding forward. And so I get out from underneath, and I start chasing after JJ. And like, I'm full booking it. I'm like, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm like chasing after him. <laughs> JJ's just like, shh, 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 shh. And I'm like, and, and so I'm like laughing and stuff. And he's like acting really serious. And so all of a sudden, like, my brain's like, oh, we're being hunted. <laughs> oh, You're like, we're being hunted. Stuck. And so I start laughing, like, like a, like a scared laughing. And, like, <laughs> and he's like, shh, dude, you gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet, dude. You gotta be quiet. And he's like stoned as fuck too. And... At this point, I really don't remember too much after that. I just remember running and somehow ending up cuddled up next to Max on a couch. In the How morning, romantic. I know. But, um, yeah, I don't know if after that moment I peed myself or if that was just me imagining I peed myself because I had no control. <laughs> Yo! I, I was so far gone. What I had no control of my like bodily functions. Acid, like yeah, I don't know if that, because that, th I don't know what was in that THC pill. I could have been taking methamphetamines for all I knew. You know, like, it, all we got, all, like, all it was was just these big tablets that had like, that had like, you know, the, the amount 99.9% .9 THC on them. But Neat. so like, anybody can break something open and Replace it, you know, that's a huge drug thing that goes Well, because when, uh, Austitz did acid, he said, like, he's afraid he was gonna, like, either, like, piss or sh shit himself, like, every once in a while. Yeah, it... Especially it, with, like, shrooms, Because you can't feel your body. Yeah. See, and, like, the thing is, is I very... Yeah, I, I yeah. might have, because the thing is, is I would have never known because in the morning my pants were dry. <laughs> so I would have never known if I actually pissed myself or not. I, I remember asking him the next day. I was That's like, when you smell your dick. <laughs> Let me smell your dick. Hey. hey. I, there's no way I can hit that. <laughs> there's no fucking way. Let me smell your dick. I still love the time that I did fall flat like a bear mat. That, that was pretty great, honestly. <laughs> Dude, I just fell flat because I thought the police were there. <laughs> right in front of the door with my mouth open. <laughs> like, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Literally looking around, eyes going, like looking at the door and hearing it, and then I just go stiff. As if I'm an actual bear, I'm like, look up. Uh, and it's our <laughs> friend walking in. And then the scariest part is as I was like, Weren't you like, naked? Looking, no. Oh. No, that's when I was chasing Max around when we went skinny dipping. Brandon was there. I was there. <laughs> it was quite the sight to unsee. <laughs> too much. Bad. Too much stuff. I was I was chilling on the count You're on like, the couch with brother. Frankie. He's naked. Yeah, He's and, no, no, no. Uh, Frankie was with us. Oh, she was. <laughs> yeah, uh, was I was. Okay. I was with Dylan because Dylan <laughs> yeah, was Dylan about to uh, be like put into basic training. Oh yeah, he was. He was about to. So sign up so yeah, so he wasn't getting fucked up. So I was just like slumping on the couch with him, and I take a look outside, and. No, dude, Matt, Dylan was, Dylan was butt-ass naked. I don't know who it was. With? Yo, I don't no, know. No, I think, I think you were alone. <laughs> I honestly I think, think I was alone. alone, yeah. <laughs> I, I look at the window, and I see Max, and I see Dylan, and I see their little dongs. <laughs> whittle, they're whittle dongs. Yeah, they're whittle dongs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dylan and Max. I love both of you. Yeah. It was, cool well, it was, it was the middle of the night, so it was cool yeah. as fuck and out plus of the And plus, they just got there. done skinny done, dipping. So. Oh, we were crossfaded. We were already done. Me and Max. Tyler, we, we, <laughs> Tyler channeled his inner Irish. I was, I was talking in an Irish accent all night. And I remember at one point. Max walked up to me, he's like, dude, like, and, like, when, this is, like, when Max was transitioning into, you know, his many stages of Max, um, but he was like, dude, are you, like, actually, well, it was funny, he was like, dude, are, <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he was like, dude, are, are you actually from Ireland, and I'm, like, keeping up this voice the entire time, I don't even recognize, it starts actually, like, Becoming fluid. <laughs> and I'm like, it was young. impressive. It was, it was kind of cool. It was the entire night. I got so drunk. I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I can't fucking do this right now. <laughs> I'm too fucking wasted. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm like shouting like some Scottish Irish. Like, oi, 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 oi! 
But that that also had the best beer pong game. That was <laughs> intense. I got Max down to like in the first throw I had against Max in beer pong, I got him down to one cup. <laughs> Damn. See, like in one turn. Kept on getting balls back and uh, double cupping him and stuff and just couldn't hit that last one. He finally got me down to one. And we had a rebuttal three times in a row on each other. Dude, I remember that. And I finally nailed him and he hit this side and like tipped it out. And I was like, no! (laughs) Dude, the entire house went fucking insane. (laughs) Literally everybody, like, Max run up to each other and I pick him up and I have him on one arm I'm like oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> and everybody and I'm just picking everybody up and give everybody high fives and stuff it was the most intense game oh 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 my god and then uh, later in the night, he broke the bomb. Yeah, I, I literally laid down and went like this I was like a cat looking at like a glass just like I was like <laughs> yeah, he, like, the thing was, it was on a counter, and it was on top of a piece of paper, and Tyler uh, slams his head down on the counter, like, into his arms, and his elbow hits the paper, and it goes tumbling, and this poor soul, this poor broken soul, gets down on the ground in a puddle of bong water and glass, and, glass, and I lay there, and, and scooping it together. <laughs> Like, kind of moan crying. Like, uh... <laughs> I totally forgot I was doing that. Wait, what? <laughs> Tyler, when he broke the bomb, went on the ground and started scooping all the glass and water up, trying to fix it. I was like, <laughs> I remember I was telling JJ, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can fix it. I was looking at it and I was like, I can fix you. And JJ's like just standing there looking at me. He's just like, dude, it's okay. I have more. I'm like, what? I broke this one. And he's just like, dude, it's okay. I was like, I'll get you a new one. I swear. Oh, I was. Mm, that was so bad. That was a great night, and then we proceeded to go to work in the morning. Yep. At 6 a.m. Yeah. After going to bed, I think at 2. Oh, 3. We, we, we were trying to hours. play a movie, and then we just ended up staring at a screen. It was... It, what movie was that? It was some space... It was like it a was space, a space, space Apollo 9. Yes. Yes. And I remember I got motion sickness and started puking my brains out. Yes. And you went to work like a few hours later? Yeah. Ew. For the dad, right? Yeah. yeah. Go hard or go home! Did he so, know you partied that hard the night before? Oh, no. No. So Actually, he, like, he might have known. Dad Dad is not stupid. He has partied. Well, yeah. His entire he life was a party. Yeah. Were I mean, you hungover just trying to fucking fake it the whole time? I had never been so hungover in my life. I, I didn't get that hungover. I don't get that hungover in general. That's good. I mean, Neither do I, so that's why it was surprising. Yeah, I mean, what you got, you got fucked. I got figgity figgity fucked up, bro. Oh yeah, that bud bent him over and went, like, fucking a foot deep. Yes. <laughs> it, was, it was very good. Probably some of the best weed I've ever had. I know, JJ was always good. That was after the camping trip. Yeah. Yeah. So what next topic? Sorry, I'm just remembering the time that Cody got fucked up. Oh, at tell us Justin. about that. That poor soul. Oh my god. Cass, get into the mic and uh, tell us, tell us what went down. Yeah, it's your turn up to the mic. So we went to Courtney's house. This is the first time we went to Courtney's house to party. Mm-hmm. And her parents weren't there. So Justin invited like all his friends, and Courtney invited like us, Josh. A couple of other people and her cousin, and then Cody comes, oh boy. and he fucking all we had was like Coors mm-hmm. and like one bottle, one or two bottles of just like vodka and stuff. And Cody already smoked a shit ton before he came because that's what he does. Because yeah. that's what he does, and he's 
I feel like he's very self-conscious. So there's a lot of like muscular guys there. Oh, and yeah. so he tries to be well, like. Well, and also girls that like, yeah. are hitting on him and stuff. Does well, he try to like be like, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna he's, keep going. Yeah, yeah. He, so he he's flexes just hard. Chugging, really chugging, flexing. shot. <laughs> I can't remember if there was weed there. Yeah. I think the, the, there was. It was, like, it was like Justin just brought it out back and it was like. Yeah, so that's. It was so just out back that everybody did it. They were rolling. They rolled probably like for an hour. Yeah. But there's so many people there that by the time it like got around it it was gone. Yeah. So you just have to like keep rolling. Keep rolling, yeah. rolling. And then I was rolling, inside, rolling, all of a sudden rolling. like someone comes hey. to me, it's like your brother just threw up. They're 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 coming to tell Courtney because he was throwing he was throwing up on the patio oh, in the shit. bushes. Shit. Like all over the place. Yeah. And that doesn't happen with Cody. Like And then his mood kind of switched from like you know, gangsta to like he feels like he's the runt. Yeah. Oh. It, oh, like, he's depressed. very prideful. He's yeah. I don't know. If that was just because like his big sister is there. I think it might have been because not only like his big and sister, now he but feels his step, like... But, like his brother-in-law is like there and like trying to help him. You know, it's it's like it's that whole thing. Like it made you him want and, then, and then trying to impress the girl. Yeah. Like even that. though she was, she already. Done, Dunzo. Yeah. He was gone, but like, yeah, he, he's a little prideful, but yeah, that night he he just got too messed up, unfortunately. It was just bad. And and then he tried to go drink some more, and I was like, no, dude, you just fucking threw up like three times. I I'm, I think if anybody let him have any more. He would have had alcohol poisoning, and we would have had to take him to the ER. Oh, so he was like, well, didn't, didn't you take like, him home? home? Yeah, I took him home. Yeah. That was my first strike. Yeah, he was supposed to come back and pick me up. That's what I thought was going to happen, and I waited outside Courtney's house for two hours, waiting for him to come pick dead. me up. Calling him, calling him, calling him, and then I called my mom. I'm like, Mom, can you come pick me up? Damn. Damn. I know. But this is the past. I've learned. I've never really left her anywhere. I even Smoking made I even made there. sure of the plan. I'm like, so you're gonna drop Cody off and come back and get me. And he's like, yeah, see you in a bit. I was waiting, 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 like so I don't wanna go back inside. I, I, it's because the, I think the last thing, like when I dropped him off, is like the last thing that I remembered is, is like when you said like, oh yeah, the plan is to stay the night. It was and, until Courtney's yeah, cousin and, threw up on the couch. And I forgot about that. She oh, moved on. He threw up on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Did Courtney get in trouble from her parents? I have no idea. I, I think, think they yeah. cleaned it. But yeah. they, they it was just well. that's where like, we were gonna sleep, spend the night, and then it's like I'm no. Yeah, it was all on me. Whatever. But. Was Courtney cool once? Like, did she like to party and shit before, like, yeah. you know, that shit happened? Like, she's actually fun. Yeah. And then she just got crazy. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit. It's in the past. Yeah, we're not here to slander. <laughs> no. Just talk about poor Cody. Yeah. Fucking himself up over. I mean, I understand and where he's. I understand where he comes from, you know. I did the same thing in middle school, you know, just. I'd be the Do big guy. Do you remember who at Justin's when Cody broke his ball? Oh yeah. Oh. He threw the biggest little bitch <clears throat> shit. Oh. When Cody's ball broke the yeah the zong the the, the, the blue one. Yeah. He, he didn't like, even have it that he long. He went either. outside Justin's house around oh, the corner to so the parking lot. I was thinking about another one. He just he called his mom. He said, "My my my ball broke." It was like, yes. oh my god. He also had like two like others though. Yeah, but and, that one was and a plethora favorite. of paper. Yeah, I I I hated smoking that the zong because it was so massive. It wasn't. By the time fun. the smoke got to you, it's stale. Exactly. Yeah. It's stale. Unless smoke. you're ripping. Yeah. Unless you feel that bitch full of ice. Like full of ice. We, it's we stale did by the time sometimes. it gets to your throat. But that thing required too much ice is the problem. Like to be like to get that good hit like you're saying, you know, that like, Cause when you filled it up with ice, that was an amazing like hit. 
but otherwise it was just oh, way too big otherwise. Oh. Anything else folks? Or are we concluding this podcast for now? You don't have to go home. But you can not stay stay here. here. Hey! And now get the fuck out! (laughs) Get out of my house! No, no, no. Thank anyone who listens to this. Please leave any comments. And congratulations if you made it to the end. Yeah, congratulations. Jeez, I can't believe you got through this. I'm, I'm almost afraid to listen back and, like, see what type of crap we have on this. Oh, but boy. you know what? That's what a podcast is all about. It's about you guys learning who we are, and by your feedback, we want to know who you are. Just let us know what your favorite things were that we talked about today. Comment down below. Leave a like and if there you was did. Plenty. Subscribe for more. We're going to be trying to do this Please on a weekly leave basis. Please comments. I would yes. love to. Yeah. Comments. Comment yeah. what your should, favorite should thing was. Should we do a comment challenge? Uh, all right. I mean, that's if anybody made it this far, but... <laughs> All right. Um, what should the topic be? Oh, share your uh, most insane story. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so on the next podcast, we will share... Five pages. Hammer L- and L- LMA format. <laughs> MLA format. <laughs> ninth we'll, we'll edition. We'll check in. Yes, ninth edition. Don't go any twelfth on me. That ain't formulated. Eight thousand words. <laughs> Eight thousand words or more. Or more. <laughs> Not any less. I will count. No, um, <laughs> leave, leave your wackiest, most insane story down below, and we will go through them. And on the next video, uh, Give us we will share topics. it. Uh, you know, it, we'll we'll contact you, and we'll no. see. If, well, no, I want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, leave it down below. If you win, we'll share it on the next podcast. And stay tuned. You might win. All right. Thank you guys. Tyler, Good night. Is this your ramen? That's my ramen. Is this your ramen? Yeah. Are you gonna have your ramen? No. Yes. You can't have it.